Hey everyone, apart from my DIYs, I love to stay active and also eat very wholesome foods. So I do want to share with you a very special and scrumptious, super healthy DIY waffle that I have here. We are going to make this with two cups of oats and we are just going to blend that up and we're gonna have that act as our main flour for this recipe. Now our featured and main ingredient in this waffle are these fiber rich beets. They're super low in sodium and fat and they help ensure brain and nerve function. Also increasing your stamina and may help prevent chronic diseases and a ton more health benefits. So this is the main ingredient and we're gonna cut this up so that it's easier for our blender to make a juice out of it. You can roast these to get more flavors out of them, but we are just gonna put them in there raw. I'm adding one cup of water so that we can get juice out of this, and that is gonna be our liquid that we're gonna be using for our waffle. Next, I'm adding a little bit of flavor and putting vanilla bean kaizen protein, my favorite protein ever, and we're putting one scoop of that in our liquid mixture. Now the protein is optional and if you want to give this to the kitties, you may want to put some sweeteners in there because it will taste exactly like beets, which I totally love. I love that earthy taste, but some people, you got to get accustomed to that. So I had a blender for the dry and I had a blender for the wet ingredients. I do suggest you pour in your dry ingredients into the wet ones while that's blending because it's going to be easier for your blender. I'm adding one teaspoon baking powder and also one teaspoon vanilla in there just so you make it a little bit more fluffy and vanilla to taste. You still want to get that pancake like consistency so just add a little bit more water if you find that it is a little bit too thick. Next you want to grab your waffle maker. This is 20 bucks from Walmart and I'm just spraying a little bit of coconut oil in there and then pouring our waffle mix. If you don't have a waffle maker, you can make these into pancakes, that's totally no problem. And then when the green light comes on, that means they are done and just see how beautiful these totally turns out. I'm totally loving the rich color that the beets have given our waffles. This just looks so scrumptious. And then all you have to do is put your favorite toppings. Mine is this organic agave syrup that I just get from Whole Foods. I like it because there's only one ingredient in it and that's blue agave syrup. I like to add some more fruits and then of course top it off with some shredded coconut and this thing is ready to get in my belly. Each waffle contains about 212 calories and 15 grams of protein. If you love this DIY, be sure to comment down below. I have tons more other great DIYs for all of you guys, so be sure to subscribe. I'll see you later, and thanks for watching. Bye.